Hello everyone, this is week number 5 and it goes from May 11th to 15th. Our objective is to learn and use important vocabulary related to illnesses, pandemics and epidemics. And the pages we are going to work are pages 49, 50 and 51. Okay, on this page, page 49, we can find exercise 4. Exercise 4 says, what kind of things do you ask for when you are sick? Discuss with a classmate. When might you say the following phrases? In what cases do you say this, these phrases? Can I have some more milk? I need a blanket. Can you give me a tissue? I need some ice. Can you turn off the lamp? These are some uh, common expressions that people say when they are sick, when they are ill. Exercise 5, it's a listening. Okay, listen to good brother and write the answers to the following questions. The name of the listening is the good brother. Here you have four questions. Okay, you just have to answer these four questions. Exercise 6, you have to listen and complete. Uh, with the missing words, there are some uh, blanks, some lines where you have to write the correct words. Okay. Exercise seven: Go to your photo bank, uh, week three, photo bank one, and then you have to imagine that uh, you are sick. Okay, and then somebody is taking care of you. Uh, we are going to. Uh, do this activity in the virtual class. Okay, I will give you the pictures so you can do this exercise. You have to prepare a dialogue. Okay, there is one person that is sick and the other person is taking care of that sick person. On the page 50, it says in group of in groups of three, choose and discuss five words from below that are related to vaccines. A vaccine is an injection, is a, is a liquid, a solution, a, a something that creates some, that prevents diseases. Okay, that's a vaccine. There are different kind of vaccines and nowadays uh, people are looking for a vaccine, for a cure for the coronavirus, for example. Okay, explain your answers to the class. Okay, five words related to vaccines. You have to choose. Are vaccines painful? Are you scared of, of receiving a, a vaccine? When are vaccines necessary? When there is an epidemic, are they safe? Are they risky? Do you receive uh, them when, when, when you are a baby? When you were a baby? Okay, this is for a discussion. Exercise 2, read the text, why vaccinate, and answer the following questions. Okay, this is the text, why vaccinate. You have to read that text and answer these three questions. Why are vaccines safe? Why do you need vaccines? What are other benefits? Okay, exercise number 3, write a sentence related to the reading using following words. The following words because just and only okay and finally on the exercise number four some people are against getting their kids and themselves vaccinated work in groups and brainstorm some reasons why they need or don't need to get vaccinated write the complete arguments in your notebook look at the example here we have some examples. Uh, student A say babies need to get vaccinated. And the student B says people don't need to get vaccinated. Okay, what are the arguments? They cannot decide for themselves. We support vaccines. And the other argument says because it is only an invention of big corporations. We have to discuss both uh, opinions okay and finally in the exercise in the on the page 51 we have some exercises 
5, 6, 7, and 8, exercise 5 says, write what you think the world needs in order to be a safer place in terms of health and how you want to help achieve this. Discuss with your classmate and write a conclusion. Okay? What does the world need to be a safer place? The world needs, and then you have to complete. How can you help? I want to help by by recycling, by not contaminating, by creating an invention that helps the planet, by uh, planting trees, etc. By taking care of the water. And the third one, we think we need to, what do you need to do in order to, to help the planet and to make the world a safer place? Exercise 7 is a listening listening to the track, listen to the track again, sorry, exercise 6 is uh, listening and then you have to continue with the exercise 7, exercise 6, listen to preventing epidemics and complete the notes, okay, this is a listening and then you pay attention to it, you can listen to it several times and then you complete uh, the notes, you move to the exercise number 7, Listen to the track again and write N, the letter N, if the sentence is a need, or W, if it is a want. What is the difference between need and want? Need is something that is necessary. Okay, need. I need a vaccine. I need a cure. I need to sleep. I need to eat something that is necessary. But want is not something that is necessary. It's something just that you like and you want to have it. Those are the differences between need and want. Okay, so you have to you have to write letters N or W uh, according to if you need or want something. Uh, exercise eight: Go to the photo bank. Week three: Photo bank two. Work in groups of three and follow these instructions. Choose a picture. Describe what you think the people in the picture need to do to prevent the disease. Outbreak, uh, list actions you want to take to help and prevent these actions in a poster. Look at this picture. This is a vaccine. Look at this uh, purple or fuchsia liquid. This person is receiving a vaccine. And I think these uh, little children are also getting vaccinated. Okay, so thank you very much. For Thank you very much for your attention and this is all for this week. Bye bye, see you next time.